message is <laughs> insist on the highest standards and give yourself permission to fly. So for starters, insisting on the highest standards is extremely uncomfortable at first. In fact, you learn how I learned and I'm learning how to insist on the highest standards by being around people who insist on the highest standards when you are not rising to the occasion. That's how we are able to elevate ourselves. I laugh because this past couple of weeks, this past month, these past several months have been such a journey for me to rise up and insist on my, upon myself on the highest standards and yeah there's a lot of pressure it's, it's like a pressure cooker that comes with that putting a lot of pressure on oneself is not always a bad thing if we're able to become weightless and so that is the beautiful silver lining within when it comes to added pressure and insisting on the highest standards and being around people who insist on the highest standards. It requires really difficult conversations. It requires people saying, uh, I don't accept this. This is, this is not how we do things. And then as we evolve and as we grow, it becomes assimilated into our being. Some of the best people for you to keep in your circle are the people who are the toughest on you the toughest on you <laughs> like sometimes we have conversations with people and we think oh like they're just being complicated and sometimes that's true and you don't really want to have um you don't really necessarily want to keep people around who are always trying to bring you down but sometimes the people around us are just trying to teach us how to live in a way that is of the utmost highest degree. And those are the people you want to keep so close, even though they make you feel so uncomfortable about yourself sometimes. It's good to be uncomfortable. Sometimes it being uncomfortable is, is what we need. It's really easy. Our brains are not, our, our being is not positioned to <laughs> to be absolutely ultimately the best version of ourselves we're positioned and conditioned to survive not thrive so as we're conditioned to survive a lot of the time the way that we operate is very reactionary very short-term thinking very bound and weighted and the reason why almost all superheroes wear capes is because in order to heal we must become empty you have to be weightless to fly <laughs> so i ask you in what ways are you energetically weighing yourself down? What are you so afraid of? Remember that love is often misunderstood for an emotion. Love is a way of being in the world, a way of treating oneself and treating others and the environment and the creatures all around us. Love emanates from the heart. Real love real love insists on the highest standards and will not have it any other way. Some things to meditate on. I feel